guys, this is me for knowledge. My first fans is your key to the possible. So thank you guys for this cool, awesome video. This video is part of a sponsored content series where we're talking about basically white canes. And uh, we are working with Ambutech for this particular video. Uh, the first thing I want to explain is that the product that we are talking about is primarily for customizational uses. This basically means for events, for with friends, in safe areas, is not primarily meant to be used as your primary mobile device. Okay, now this is the uh, comparison video. So I will explain why it's so vitally important to understand this, that this is meant for a cosmetic or a visual fashion or more so for our friends or safe area type uses. So let's get right into it. So I am going to show you that Ambutech has been a fantastic uh, organization to work with. Uh, basically, they create white canes. And what is a white cane for all those who might not know is that a white cane is something that a person with blindness visual impairment uses to navigate uh, their world. Here is mine. This is my primary uh, mobility cane. It is black. It has a black grip with a uh, white body of the pieces and then a red bottom part to uh, distinguish where the tip is and things like that. The idea behind this is that this is the official universal standard of persons with blindness or visual impairment to be identified. This is to get assistance. This is for cars, cars to yield for you crossing streets, things like that. This is why this type of cane is your primary for using as a mobility aid. Now, because this is a comparison video, this is the cane that I've been using for a long time. And this is, by the way, these are both Ambutech products. This is considered a basic five piece graphite cane with, I believe it's a pencil top cover uh, or a tip. Um, please, if I got that wrong, please let me know in the comments below because I don't know the proper tip type names. But anyways, basically you just use it to tap instead of anything else. Um, but that is my basic cane. This is the one I've been using for a very long time, for about two plus years, and it's been fantastic. And this is an Ambutech product. Now, what we're talking about with the comparison is what are we comparing this to? What is the product you're talking about? Well, if you've seen the first video, you already know that what we're talking about is a custom made cane sent to us by Ambutech with some specifications that I personally like because of being an artist and the colors relate to me. And I want to, re to show you guys a comparison comparison between the primary cane and this custom one. Now this is a custom cane by Ambutech. Uh, basically the idea is that all the colors are different. It is a mixture between a highlight cane and a color cane, which I will get to in a very moment. Uh, but it also has, as you noticed on the bottom here, it is a roller top instead of a pencil top where you would tap this, you roll it around and you glide. Uh, it depends on the mobility technique or the preference of the user as to which tip is preferred. Now, uh, you can do this with all the different types of canes, not only just getting this custom, uh, but I will get into that in a moment because I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So this is what we're comparing comparing us, uh, comparing to the primary mobility aid. Like I said, guys, this cane is going to be used for your primary, um, you know, your cosmetics or matching it with clothes for fashion or with friends, you know, for some cosmetic reason and it's in its safe a safe environment and it's not being utilized as your primary mobility device. So I just need to make sure that you guys understand that. So the uh, differences here. So I'm going to unfold these. First difference that you guys are going to notice is because of the difference in the tips. Uh, here's what I can do and here's what the differences is. The first one here is my primary. So my primary, I fold it up as if I take the the uh, string and I put it over after I fold it up, it's over the tip and that's how I do it, right? So you undo it and then it unfolds as such. And this is a basic, you know, cane where you have the different sections. Like I said, it's a five piece graphite with a basic uh, black grip and black uh, midlines with the white body and the red bottom with the pencil top uh, tip. So that is this one. This is what you would be considered as the basic look for getting assistance with a white cane. Uh, like I said, guys, is that 
this, although this, the colors of this are what is considered the basics for getting assistance as someone with blindness visual impairment, that doesn't mean like this tip is the required thing. There's different tips. Like I showed you just a couple of seconds ago, there's a rollerball tip, there's a pencil tip, there's different shapes, there's marshmallow, all those great different things. And the grippers of the uh, grip, like I said, can be different while still utilizing the white and red, which is what I'm going to get into next. So the first thing is, is let's say you want to have a different grip color and you want to have a different, what is considered called a shield color. This is what is called an, a highlight cane by Ambutech. This is only changing the grip and the shield where the tip is. Everything else stays red and white. So it's a highlight cane for your preferences, but still can be utilized as a mobility aid. But when it gets to a point where you are looking at having a colored cane and you're looking at changing the parts of the main shaft, that's when you can't use it as a mobility aid because people don't understand what this means. This is too custom. Now, like I said, guys, you can have the different uh, grip and the shield and still have primary red and white. And that's going to still signify you as being blind or visually impaired because of the red and white is always going to designate you. The blue tip and the blue handle will not be a visible or should not be a visible difference to distinguish whether you are blind or not. That is just primarily highlight customization. But when you get into this point where you're changing the uh, shafts from white and red to different colors or different patterns, that's when you cross into the territory of it being a fashion, cosmetic, safe area type of cane. Okay, so you don't, like for this one, you don't cross streets with it, obviously. But here is the going into it before I start talking more about its pieces, is that how this one works is because the way that this is created, and this is a big roller ball, right? Obviously it's different from, it's different from my little pencil tip here. I can't just slide it over the ball, right? So the way that this one has to be done is that you take this off and there's your string. And this is how you'd have to do it is that you have to take your string and you have to wrap it around the bottom and then it will go over like I showed you like so. Uh, each part is like the other cane. It has these kind of like cone connectors. A long time ago, this actually wasn't existent. There was actually flat uh, flat connections here, if I remember correctly. Uh, I Don't quote me on this, but I, I could have just had a really old cane at the time. But as you guys can see, the bottom part here is green. And then each of the primary sections of this cane are gold. And now I'm going to fold this up a little here so you can see this. So you can see the gripper here. This is the gripper. This is blue gripper with a black, um, a, uh, a black lanyard, uh, wrist strap. Uh, I'm not sure the technical name, whatever you want to call it is your preference. Um, and then, like I said, the bottom with the blue shield. And this is like a, sh I believe this is what they call it, is a shield. They, they might call it someone else tipper or, you know, whatever it might be, but this is ultimately what the shield difference is. And I told you guys about the ball tip. You know, the ball tip is you glide it around instead of going, you know, tapping like the typical uh, white cane has been for a long period of time. And <clears throat> now I want to talk about a few things. So, like I said, is that this is a cane that is a mixture of the color and the highlight cane. Uh, so this is like your ultra customized, you have a particular reason for this being that for connecting with Ambutech and talking to them about custom colored canes. I wanted to not only utilize this for uh, my personal cosmetics because I wanted to see how things were made, but also uh, I want to make more, I wanted to make a video about custom canes because I saw, I come across a, uh, a, a video where they're talking about having different colors and different custom ideas for canes. And there's only like one or two videos I've seen of actual Ambutech promotions. I think that it would be awesome for you guys to know about this. And the other great thing is, is that because, you know, we've been talking and you're probably thinking, oh, well, those of older age or things like that can utilize this. No, little kids, like little kids getting into learning about white canes perfect 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 um timing to kind of get to used to what's a cane and everything um 
this isn't like taking away the idea of like you show them the color cane first. I mean, obviously you want them to have the idea that the that these are the primary colors of a cane and this is what's always going to be your primary mobility cane. But the idea of is that with to get kids comfortable with them using a cane or using their own cane, you can have this customized to a certain color of degrees to the preferred student or or child, whichever the relation happens to be to you, so that they get used to using what is a cane or how do I use it, things like that. Um, the other thing too is because of the changeable tops, you can have a ball top, you can have a tap top, you can have a marshmallow, you can have a marshmallow roller, you can have a pencil top uh, roller. It's all sorts of different things. See, now I used to have a roller ball tip and I got rid of my cane because it got old and I donated the parts because I had to get a new cane anyways because I needed a larger size. Um, and I went and and I just, I'm like, if, if this is possible to change the tips, I want to have a rollerball back. So I thought, why wouldn't it be um, important to show you guys the differences between a regular tap-based cover to or tip to a ball, ta a ball roller tip? Uh, not only for the sake of being interesting, but also for the sake I have a preference in kind of the roller tip in certain situations. Um... But to recap here, like the previous video, I have used Ambutech uh, for a long, long time. Like I've been using, you know, my mobility cane for the longest time. And so I know that their quality is very good. It's very, very good. It can hand up to weather. It can hand up to different things. It can hand up to my rugged running around the place type things because I'm, I'm a very mobile person. And as you guys can see now, this is all folded up so I can just, you know, go like this and you can tell. Um, and it just, I am very, very comfortable in saying that when you go and you get an Ambutech cane, you're going to be utilizing it for a long time. Even if it gets beaten up and things, or it needs to be restrung, that cane is going to last you a long time. Um, <laughs> because this one, like I said, this, we're, we're going on about three years with this one and it still looks pretty well. There's a little bit of rub off the, the tape here. You know, that's, that's kind of, you know, par for the course whenever you have one and you're going as rugged as I am with different places and different, uh, terrains and things. But I can definitely say that this is an, a, a very awesome build. It's a very great type graphite. Uh, I prefer graphite because I'm a little rougher with my canes. That's also a side note to why I am reviewing these. And these are graphite canes. Both of these are graphite five. These are graphite five section canes. And they are 60 inches per my preference because I use a 60 inch cane on this one. So this one is 60 inches with a roller tip. So what should you guys do? How do you guys go get a regular cane that's going to be good for you or a custom cane that is going to be just awesome for like events or your fashion or whatever it is? How do you go and do those things? Well, here's the thing. So in the description below, for those who are Minnesota oriented, you can get one of these mobility canes, uh, whether it be uh, foldable, uh, whether it be, I believe, telescopic, um, aluminum or graphite uh, at the low vision store all you got to do is go to the low vision store go to the link in the description of the low vision store in the description below and you guys can talk to the low vision store about getting your proper cane and the proper size that you need and everything like that to get one like this to get these custom the custom colors and the custom um fits and things like that here's what you do you guys go to ambutech.com they have a number they have two numbers they have a fax number and they have a phone number that you can order customize your cane from top to bottom whether it be the tips the sections the gripper or just one of the particular areas for some particular reason also with many different types of cane choices and types of materials both like i said graphite aluminum fiberglass foldable non-foldable different sections things like like that that's what you do okay so if you're in minnesota go to the low vision store they're the registered distributor for ambutech if you want something a little bit more customized go directly to ambutech uh which both links are in the description below depending on your personal preferences but like i said thank you guys so much at ambutech thank you thank you thank you so very much for this because i'm going to utilize this in many different events and in many different get-togethers with friends um 
I'm going to get some very awesome feedback. And this is, like I said, this is part two of a three-part series. Part two is this comparison between the two canes. Now, I know I did a little bit of the comparison in the first video, but I wanted to do more in-depth of, like, explanation between the two canes uh, in this particular video. Uh, but for for video three we're going to be talking about some reactions that i've gotten some you know looks or or connections with friends or what they thought i'm also going to be posting pictures and things on on uh, social media so i'm going to be getting some comments that way as well to see if people's thoughts of this and i'm going to kind of talk to you guys about what i've got for reactions um but just to recap here just so you guys understand this is always and will forever be for current times the standard for blindness and visual per impairment persons to get assistance for cars to yield and for you to be safe while you are traveling. The white, red, and black canes are what is universally known as mobile devices for blind or visually impaired people and are promoted as such. And these colored ones, colored ones, special events, fashion, uh, with friends or family, uh, that's what you utilize these ones for but have a lot of fun with customizing because trust me guys when I found out that I could customize my mobility device and I could have some fun with it it changes the whole perspective of you having a disability into something very fun and I love that type of creativity and possibility as being an artist myself so i thank you so much ambutech for allowing people to have this option to allowing to have multiple customization options for your canes thank you so very much uh and thank you completely for sending this again thank you so very very much it's very awesome and i love it to death um but like i said guys what you do how you get info Low Vision Store in the description for Minnesota people. Ambutech.com for those who are maybe not in Minnesota or looking to have a little bit more customization. You guys know where to go. It's all in the description. I want to say thank you guys so very, very much for viewing this video. If you could, let as many people know that, the, that this exists, that this video is an awesome description of the new uh, cosmetic uh, type of line of canes that Ambutech has with multicolored uh, options for events and for fashion and all that great different stuff and also let them know about if they need a very good quality mobility cane for basic travel and a basic color scheme this is the place to go is ambutech uh let them know by liking the video or sharing the video or uh you know talking to people like leading them to the video if you could that would be fantastic or just sending them the links to the the specific places whether it be low vision store uh in minnesota or it would be ambutech directly to their website make sure that they know about this because it's very very important that a lot of people feel comfortable with themselves and have a creativity while doing it and i think it's so important for those with blindness visual impairment so um if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to inform you of more great content because more great content is coming out. If you don't feel like subscribing, that is totally okay. Just like I said, share the info, share the love to either the video or to Ambutech or to the Low Vision Store. Show love to these guys. They're awesome. Um, otherwise, remember the perseverance is your key to your possible. And I will see you guys in the third video of this series where I am talking about real world reactions to the new Ambutech cane. So thank you guys and see you later.